بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم آئی ایم سید محمد ریاض الحق اینڈ آئی ہوپ ڈیٹ آل آف یو آر فائن اینڈ اسٹے سیف ان شاء اللہ ایوری تھنگ ول بی فائن اینڈ ناؤ ڈیز دا سرکم ٹرانسز از گوئنگ آن ڈیو ٹو دا کرونا وائرس پینڈیمک اینڈ آئی پری ڈیٹ آل آل آف یو آل دا اسٹوڈنٹس ول بی سیف ود یور فیملیز ویل ٹوڈیز کلاس از بیسیکلی دا لیکچر آف ٹوڈے از about the fundamental concepts of correlations as also we discuss in the quantitative analysis because because when we talk about the research and research methodology so always we find out uh, the correlation between two or more than two variables so in today's lecture we will discuss about the fundamental concepts of the correlation and in another lecture we will discuss about the significance of the correlation and then regression but today uh, but this lecture is only about uh, basics of the correlation so uh, so what is correlation basically when we talk about the correlation it means that we want to find the relationship between two variables and when we say two variables so one variable we have a dependent variable and other is independent variable dependent variable you can uh, nowadays you can say uh, say that uh, the independent variable the effect of independent variables on dependent variables like uh, in a burning question today is the circumstances is going on we can see that due to the coronavirus pandemic our economy is uh, you can say going down and uh, similarly the schools and colleges are closed people are uh, at the home not going to the work so there is a big effect we can say uh, on the economy due to the coronavirus so we can say that the coronavirus if we take the if we take as a variable so the effect of coronavirus we can take as a independent variable and the economy we can take as dependent variable or we can say that the uh, loss of educations loss of uh, Uh, many things due to this pandemic virus so uh, first of all we say that what is correlation basically so we define correlation as correlation is the statistical method used to determine whether the relationship between variable exist or not it is a statistical method used to define whether the relationship between uh variables exist or not so as we are watching in this situation so also when we do the marketing research business research we find out the relationship between demand and supplies sale price and public demand like this so for example we have a relationship between supply and demand of a product similarly relationship between heart disease and smoking or relationship between heart disease and smoking lack of exercise and stress if you are doing medical science research work and you find out the relationship between two variables so you will see what is the cause of the heart disease it can be due to lack of exercise or is there a relationship between smoking and heart disease so such kind of relationship we find out through a statistical tool that is called correlation similarly you can say correlation between number of sales and price number of sales and price correlation we can find out in our research too so after that correlation may be when we talk about the correlation so basically the correlation defines the relationship between two variables it can uh, say just whether the relationship is positive or negative or there is no correlation when we talk about that there is a relation there is a positive relationship between uh, two variable it means that uh, there is a positive effect of independent variable on dependent variable and uh, when we say the negative correlation so there is a negative effect of independent variable and dependent variable so we will more define it by means of using a scatter plot that kind of a uh, graph we can say so we use here a scatter plot what is a scatter plot a scatter plot is the graph of the order pairs x and y of numbers consisting of independent variables and the dependent variables so you can see here in this picture uh, the graph of the uh, that that is called the scatter plot and there are two there are positive correlations graph you can say scatter plot negative correlations and no correlation 
if you watch this scatter plot you will see that there is a dot dot points between in this graph basically these these dot points indicates the scat uh, indicates the data pairs okay what it is indicate the data pairs like you are uh, uh, making the relationship between uh, between sales and number of sales in price so this one dot as you draw in the paragraph that shows the data pair and if you see the trend where these data point are going you will see it is going from down to the upside to the right side to right upside it means they are increasing as as in y axis the values increasing also the x axis is increasing it means the both values x and y whether we put the number of sales on x axis and y or prices on y axis so both are increasing that shows there is a positive correlation between two variables in negative correlation you will see the scatter plot so you will see it is coming downward from upside to downward downward that shows one is uh, increasing and other is decreasing if we for example if we take the number of sales on uh, x axis and number of, uh, and the price of the product on y axis so you will see that the values that is increasing towards the x axis and the values that is downward coming downward from the y axis shows that the price as the sales increase the price lower down or as the price increases the sales lower down so that is called the negative correlation similarly if we see the third scatter plot so here randomly we can say it is so much scattered dispersed data points and we cannot conclude any trend of the point that shows nothing so we will say that it is uh, there is you know uh, we can say that there is no correlation between any two variable so as you see this is called this is an example of the scatter plot draw a uh, scatter plot to identify the relationship between two variables so here you can see another chart there are uh, there are more scatter plot diagram you can say that here you will see also one regression line and you will see strong positive correlation and weak positive correlation and strong negative correlation and weak negative correlation and moderate negative correlation and there is no correlation so just uh, in this case you will see also draw a line sometime it is uh, it is also called the regression line and basically it, the lines shows that the average points the average line and uh, how much data are near to that line which shows also the trend of the relationship whether it is whether it is positive negative or there is no correlations well after this scatter plot concept we talk about correlation coefficients so correlation coefficient we will here discuss carl pearson product movement correlation coefficient that is sometimes called pearson correlation coefficient what it is defined basically the correlation coefficient computed from the sample data measure the strength and direction of a linear relationship between two variables or the symbols for uh, between two variables you can say that and and the symbols for the sample correlation coefficient is uh, symbolized by small r and for the population correlation coefficient is symbolized by rho that is called a greek uh, letter rho so here you will have here we discuss about the range of the coefficient correlations carl pearson product movement coefficient correlations the range of the coefficient coefficient uh, correlation coefficient is from plus 1 to minus 1 so the values that computed by means of formula that we will discuss so for after a while so if you get the values r equals to nearest to or closest to the one so it means there is a strong positive correlation between two variables now we are talking about just correlation between two variables because we are talking about fundamental concepts of the correlation and sample using the sample data uh, find out the correlation between two variables and if the values of the r computed from the formula nearest to or close to minus 1 that shows there is a negative correlation really negative relationship between uh, variables and it comes to the zero it means 
no correlation or near to the zero it means also no correlation the similarly you will see here in this paragraph there is a line bar line uh, the range of the correlation coefficient is from minus 1 to plus 1 and if you see here if there is a strong positive linear relationship between the variables the value of r will be close to plus 1 if there is a strong negative linear relationship between variables the value of r will be close to minus 1 and when there is no linear relationship between the variables or only a weak relationship the value of r will be close to 0 so how you will compute this formula here we will discuss formula for the simple correlation coefficient r or formula for bivariate so here you uh, you uh, look here pearson correlation coefficient can be determined by using an algebraic equivalent formula more suited to handheld calculate calculators it means when we, when you want to do the calculation by hand on your notebook and by means of hand there is also some software by means uh, uh, by, by means of them you can also calculate and compute the values using spss eviews spss software and eviews and others uh, programming languages you can calculate even the even other languages uh, programming languages you can calculate this uh, correlation coefficient but as a fundamental you have to uh, you should know how to calculate by hand or by means you just using a calculator and by means of formula you have to do this work by hand on your notebook so come towards the formula so r equals to n in the, there is a nominator n bracket summation or sigma x y minus sigma x multiplied by sigma y whole divided by under root n sigma x square minus sigma x square bracket close if you see there are two square brackets so you have to consider the first square bracket and then second square brackets these two square brackets are multiplying each other so n sigma y square minus sigma y whole square so it means that whenever you have given the values of the two variables x or y the values of the two variables though so you have to do some calculations like x y x and multiply x y x square y square like this then you can easily compute we will see in an example so you will understand more about this uh, correlation coefficient so what here the symbols are where r is equals to simple pearson correlation coefficient n equals to sample size or we can say number of data pairs x is basically value of the independent variables and y value of the dependent variables so look here in example here example number one it is a very famous examples also mentioned in blue man book book compute the value of the correlation coefficient for the data obtained in the study of age and blood pressure given below and interpret interpret two. so there is a data given on a right side you will see subject age x blood pressure basically they are going to find out the relationship between age and blood pressure if there is a relationship between uh, age and blood pressure it means that uh, if if a person is increasing in its age so also there is a effect on its bp or not so we see that uh, here in the subject subject means here the number of patients a b c d e f and they have a age 43 years 48 years 40, 56 61 67 and 70 years and the bp calculated here according to the subject is 128 120 135 143 141 and 152 so how you will solve this so look at here solution also first of all you have to write down this table and find out some others uh, uh, columns associated with the multiplication of these two variables look here step one make a table as shown below find the value of x y y square x square y square so you will see the next below table is subject as same as you have to write down a b c d e f then you write down the age and bp but you remember you remember that the formula of the correlation coefficient so you have to make the things make the table according to the formula so that after computing these values you will just substitute the values in the formula and solve it and find out the value of the correlation coefficient and then we will interpret it either the relationship is positive negative is strong positive or strong negative or there is no correlation so first of all compute this table look here well so 
after putting the values in the formula we have here uh, we have the equation here now according to the Pearson correlation coefficient r equals to n sigma x y minus sigma x multiplied by sigma y whole divided by under root n where is n is a sample size multiplied by sigma x square minus sigma x whole square up and there are two square bracket brackets you have to uh, uh, note this point that these two square brackets are multiplying so you have to first solve the first square bracket then other whatever the results come you have to multiply these bracket so the next bracket we have n sigma y square minus sigma y whole square this is our equations and we have already find out the values whatever we have to put here like here sigma x equals to 3 45 sigma y summation y equals to 819 and sigma x y equals to 47000 zero uh, six, uh, 0634 and 20,399 and sigma y square equals to 112443 and equals to 6. So you have to now substitute this value in equation 1 that is the equation of the correlation coefficient. So r equals to 647,063 minus 345 multiplied by 819 whole divided by under root 6 and these all values you have to put and calculate you have to do this calculation in two and three steps you of course you can find out the answer in a jiffy and by means of calculator so you have to calculate in two and three steps and find out the value so here we see the r equals to 0 0.897 so how you will interpret it interpret this value 0 0.897 it means it is so close to plus one that means there is a positive relationship between age and blood pressure of the patients of the subject there is a positive relationship so how you will interpret it so step three is interpretations since estimated values of Carl Pearson correlation coefficient is r equals to 0 0.897 which is nearest to plus one so it suggests a positive relationship between age and blood pressure so here you will see that in a in a very normal way the basic concept of correlation coefficient how you find out the correlation between two variables we didn't talk about so far about the multi variable there is also multi correlation so in a basic point of view the fundamental concepts of correlation co coefficient you see here and i hope that you understand these and you have to find out the other questions and exercise and assignments will be given to you you have to practice this, memorize the formula and practice and find out the different correlations between any two variables uh, if you are doing a research work or as a student of quantitative analysis you must know about this. I hope you understand this one and in, inshallah in the next lecture we will come out more detail about the, the significance of the correlation coefficient in which we also test the hypothesis and uh, using t values and test the hypothesis you, we will do in four and three steps. Well. Uh, I hope you all of you are fine. Thank you so much for watching and uh, stay safe. Take care. Take care of your family, your friends. Don't go outside without any reason. We stay safe. Inshallah, nothing will happen. We will fight this coronavirus issues. Stay safe and keep learning. Okay. Allah Hafiz.